Welcome to Living Springs. My name is Adam. I'm the pastor here at Living Springs Community Church in Cannock. And uh, we've had a, a few technical problems this morning, but we are there. And so if you could just start to comment, say hello, wave, whatever it is you want to do, just to let us know you are there, that would be great. But I'm going to continue. We're, um, we finished a series last week about, um, about the character of God and uh it was it, it was a great series but we didn't really address um in the last couple of weeks what's been happening in the world around this pandemic and this morning i want to do that i want to take this opportunity to talk about that we're going to have a a short message um it's called separated scared and strong and uh, it's going to address some of those feelings some of those issues that we may be having. So why don't you just comment below where you're watching from, uh, say good morning to somebody, and then we'll carry on with the sermon. So it's great to see many of you commenting there this morning already. So good morning to you all. So let's talk about um, what's been going on and how that's making us feel as followers of Jesus and uh, what we can do to kind of work on some of those feelings. And I'm not going to talk about today, uh, is this a sign of the end times? Does this pandemic come from God? Because I don't want to add to the many theories that are out there at the moment. Actually, I just want to talk about three emotions of this morning. I want to talk emotions or feelings, really. I want to talk about feeling separated, feeling isolated, feeling scared, and perhaps how we can feel strong as well. And so um, these are going to be uh, interesting things for us to look at and to talk about this morning. So I am certain that many of us are feeling separated. We're feeling separated from loved ones at this difficult time. Many of us will have parents that we can't go and see, that we can't visit at the moment. We uh, have got children maybe who are growing up and who are in different parts of the country. I know many uh, of us have friends and relatives and some of us have children working in London and that's very concerning. Uh, perhaps we have close friends that we would normally like to drop in on and say hello and have a coffee with and chat to, uh, and we can't do that. Perhaps some of you are even missing work colleagues, and why don't you give them a shout out uh, while you're on this live stream. So if you work for the council, say, just thinking of all the guys at the council or, or whatever, but you could do that. And perhaps we could uh, pause for a moment and just list some of those people that we are missing. Just think about some of those people that we are missing. Then we can pray into those situations. You know, I know I'm missing seeing my parents, seeing Ruth's parents. I'm missing being able to come out and see many of you face to face. And uh, it's, it's making everyday life more difficult. Why don't you just comment on that now? But also for those of us that are Christians, we are struggling that we can't gather together. That we can't do the thing that we would do normally as a group of believers. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 24 to 25 says, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. You know, we are encouraged, we are instructed by the scripture to gather together. But also scripture tells us that we have to follow uh, the instructions of our rulers. Romans 13, one to two says, let every person be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. So we need to listen. We need to respect what our politicians are telling us to do. And uh, we've just got a cat that's about to leap and knock oh. the camera flying, but she's 
she's managed to avoid it. That was quite alarming for us there. Um, <laughs> the joys of live streaming. Um, so we need to respect what our authorities are telling us to do. We need to um, follow their instructions, however hard that is. And I know some of us will have made mistakes over uh, the, the coming week, over the weeks, as we look to adapt to this form of lifestyle. But we need to um, we need to follow their instructions. It's not a lack of faith on our part. We need to do what we are told to do. We aren't saying that God can't protect us, but we are setting an example. We are being good Christ followers. So rightly, we can't gather at the moment. Through technology, we can stay connected, thankfully. But this knobbing out together adds to our feelings of being separated, scattered from those we love. But we are not alone. We're not alone in the earthly sense. We have people that care for us. We may not be physically with them, but video calling, technology, all of those things allows us to, to stay in touch. But Jesus promises us a helper. John 14 verses 15 to 16 says, If you love me, you will keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. The Greek word translated helper in my uh, version of the Bible, in my translation of the Bible, is parakletos, which can also mean a strengthener, an ally, a friend. This helper will be with us forever. Let us pause for a moment and just think about some of these definitions. Helper. The Holy Spirit can help us see things properly. To resolve issues, to work through difficult things. How many times have, have we tried to sort things out ourselves, to look at things and, and then not work? Only then to maybe look at it with fresh eyes and be, get a prompting from God to say, this is how this has worked. If that's happened to you, comment about it. Let's have a conversation about it. So the Holy Spirit is there to help us deal with things. The Holy Spirit is our strengthener. He will give us strength. When we are weak, he will give us the strength to carry on. I think that's a verse from a song. Or very close to a verse from a song. I'm not going to sing it. I think it's from Lean On Me. But who knows? I'm not sure. Um, but the Holy <coughs> Spirit is a strengthener. We have an ally. And how much do we need an ally now? Many of us will be self-isolating or being at home, being locked down, being told to be at home with kids. And when you are holding the line, speaking the truth, dealing with cooped up relatives, you need an ally in the Holy Spirit, don't you? You need him to say, you're doing the right thing. This is what you should be doing. And we have a friend. Simples, really, to steal a catchphrase. We have a friend in the Holy Spirit. When we feel lost, when we feel alone, when we feel separated, we have a friend who will be with us always. You know, when we mess up, that friend will be with us. When we do things wrong, the Holy Spirit will be with us. He won't desert us. He won't run away from us. He won't leave us alone. So however separated, isolated we may feel, and they are genuine, real feelings. Don't, 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 don't think I'm being critical at all. We are not alone. God is with us. Always. God is with us. And when you have those moments, and they come in the dark of the night, don't they, sometimes? Then just remember that God is with us. Let's just move on to our second feeling, second emotion this morning. We feel scared. And that is natural at this time. 
Many people are scared, scared of the unknown, scared of an illness that they can't see. Alongside being scared, we, we're feeling uncertain, uncertain about our future, uncertain about our work circumstances, uncertain about how we're going to earn money to get through this difficult time. You may have been laid off, you may be waiting for the government schemes to kick in, you may have had to apply for universal credit, all of these things. And we feel uncertain. Being scared is made worse by being isolated, by being separated. But we are not alone. The following verses should encourage us. 1 Peter 5 verse 7. Casting all your anxieties onto him because he cares for you. Uh, that, uh, Peter is writing here that we should be casting all of our fears onto God, unto Jesus, because he cares for you. Vital. We can hand our worries and our fears to God and say, here you are. He cares for you. Psalm 56 verses 3 to 4 says, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? What can flesh do to me? I shall not be afraid. In God I trust. At this difficult time when we are scared, when we have those moments of genuine fear, we need to put our trust in God. I saw this quote on the internet the other day and I really wish, I, I can't, I don't know, it, it wasn't attributed to anybody. But it says, when fear knocks on your door, send faith to answer. Let me repeat that. When fear knocks on your door, send faith to answer. We need to answer our fears with our faith in God. We looked a few weeks ago at the characteristics of God and how he is faithful to us. And I can encourage you, if you've missed any of those messages, we are rapidly building a YouTube uh, uh, channel and uh, putting out all of our messages that we can on the website. So go back and listen to it, how God is faithful to us. So as we are scared, know that God is with you. God is with us. God will strengthen us. And that takes me on to our third emotion. And perhaps this is um, one that is uh, alien to you. Perhaps this is one that is uh, that you think, how can I be that at this time? We can be strong. May I dare to say we need to be strong. Philippians 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. We need to be strong and courageous right now. Our world, our communities need us to be beacons of hope, beacons of strength at this difficult, difficult time. We need to be the ones who are not adding to the panic, not adding to the fear, but actually saying, look, Jesus is the answer. He can help us. If I can do all things through God who strengthens me, that is what that, that, that verse in Philippians is telling us, that we can do all things through God. And yes, it is difficult in the physical that we are separated, that we are isolated, that we are scared. I understand that. I have those feelings. I, I actually miss coming to see some of you guys. I really do. I miss sitting, having coffee with you, being face to face. <coughs> Difficult times. 
But we need to have strength. Strength to follow the instructions that our, uh, the authorities give us, however tempting it is. And we, we have made mistakes. I have made mistakes in this area, I'm sure. I know I have. But we need to. We need to follow the things they're saying because we need their wisdom. The wisdom, I am not a microbiologist or a, or a virus specialist. We need to follow the advice of those that are better qualified than us. But we need to be strong. However hard it is. Be strong and courageous as the verse in Deuteronomy 31 says. We are not alone you're part of Living Springs, if you're part of anybody, if you're watching this and you're not part of Living Springs Community Church, you aren't alone because you are with us, you are part of the family. Like the page, stay on the page, connect with us. You are not alone. God is with you as well. If you are scared, contact me. Message me, message somebody in the church that you know. Get them to pray with you. We are, um, we, we've managed to open up some slots where we can do Zoom uh, calls together and we can pray together. We can do pastoral care over Zoom or FaceTime or on the phone, however you want to do it. Contact me. Don't be scared. God is with you. And we need to be strong. Because God is with us. We need to know that that is it. And my last thing that I want us to do this morning, I'm just coming in to land to uh, tell my cameraman to get ready to hit stop, is that can you declare that right now? Can you type into the comments, God is with us. God is with us. I'm going to finish there. I'm going to pray in a moment. Gonna, then we'll finish and I'll kind of jump on some of the comments and message back a few people if they, they're messaging. But just type, God is with us. Lord, I want to thank you that even though we can't meet physically, that we can't be in the same room physically, we can connect, Lord. And even though we had those technical problems at the start, and we practiced yesterday, Lord, it, it worked fine, but it didn't work today, we can still do it. We can still find a way to meet. Lord, we are going to be a strong church. We are going to strengthen each other. And we are going to support each other. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching today. Please remember to like the page. God bless.